everyone, glad to have you with me. CK Too Much here, back at it again with uh, Basilius Raphael, the Cruel of the Byzantine Empire. Uh, in the last episode, guys, oh, it looks like we've lost our music. You know what? Let me turn this up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Uh, in the last episode, guys, we managed to take a nice little bite out of Egypt here in this uh, Cyrenaica, Cyrenaica, not really exactly sure how to say that, but we managed to pick it up. Uh, and in this episode, I am eyeing a few different little territories over here. I'm thinking about going for this Oromid territory. Uh, so, let's go ahead and we will pick up some uh, boats to get our guys. Oh, it looks like I have a few too many vassals. Hmm. Not quite sure what to do about that. Uh, this is Odessa. You know what? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you vassalage of this guy, if I can. Yeah, here we go. Uh, okay, so that'll help me a little bit. And you know what? Maybe I will also put them under you. If that's possible. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, still. I still have too many. Um, I need to get rid of one more. Uh, maybe this Almalfi. You can go under Italy. If they'll let me. Mayor of Van. I don't know this one. Mm. Weird. It looks like I. So these are these are my vassals. The mayor of Lviv is my vassal. That's kind of bizarre. Where is Lviv in this game anyway? Like near here. Where would that be even? Isn't it... Lviv's kind of like near here, isn't it? So that's really interesting. So you... Uh... Sorry about that, guys. Maybe you heard that a little bit. My cat was uh, burying something in the litter box and it was quite loud. Okay, that's interesting. So for some reason that barony is directly under me. So I should give it to him. Uh, so you will have Lviv. Uh, it looks like I might need to... This is still not working. Maybe it's only for vassals that are... Um, ca uh -huh, count or higher. Okay. Well, it looks like I have three counts here that need to be gotten rid of. Uh, who has this? You have it. So then maybe you should take these guys under your... Douchey then, so Spies, yeah. And a boy, a a a boy, a boy, and Berig. All right, there we go. Super weird. Um, I just transferred three counts away from me, and nothing changed at all. So maybe it's actually douches. Uh, rather than counts. Uh, well, okay, that's fine. It's only one, so it probably won't give us that big of a negative modifier. Oh, let me slow that down a little bit. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, 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 what? This guy left his defensive pact against me? Ooh, where are you at? Oh, what's this? There are many mysteries in my faith. It might be interesting to spend some time. Yeah, sure. I am a religious guy, even though I'm cruel. So we can do that. So you left it because now you are under the Nasrid Emirate. Uh, okay. Well, anyway. Anyway, okay. 
Well, we'll go ahead and get our guys over there. Oh, interesting. So this Banu Judum, Judum has territory all the way over here. That's interesting. What's their deal? Oh, okay. Oh, well, this is interesting. Muhammad Banu Judum, a man of true legend. His exploits mimicked those of Alexander the Great. Interesting. So it looks like we had like a... Tr um, one of those like great conquerors um, in our game and we didn't even know it. That's pretty interesting. Okay, so he managed to start this whole empire. Okay, you know this Banu Judum thing, it sounded really, really, really weird. Uh, I was wondering where that came from. Okay, that's interesting. So we had a great conqueror bloodline start in our game and I didn't even notice. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, Okay, so we get a little heresy going on. Okay. Okay, so our boats are coming in. Okay, so let's go ahead and get on there and we will send you guys up through here. I really want to get this territory this Sicilia. I really want to get the rest of that. Whoever my inheritor is, uh, they're going to have to make sure that they do that. Who is my heir at the moment? Mm, okay, it's still Fotios or Fotios. Duke of Tuscany. Shouldn't you be under him? Oh, he is under him. Okay. Okay. Sounds good to me. Because, like, I don't know, it's just, like, if I want to go anywhere, I have to land my men here. I have to walk all the way over there. Uh, there are a few monasteries close by where, they, where the lay members of the community of St. Basil frequently convene. I'm expected to attend these meetings. Uh, but such... What, 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 I spend a fair amount of time to get in touch with the foundations. Okay, so I will go. Visiting monasteries is something that Raphael will do. I'm pretty sure that the reason that he managed to become emperor was possibly backing from priests. I'm not sure if they are able to vote. I guess they're not, but I can't think of any other reason that they would elect someone like this. Uh, I mean, I remember before he was elected, his name was the Traitor. <laughs> and later his name was changed to the Cruel. So not exactly a good rebranding. Um, you want some recognition, Theodosios. Theodosios. Uh, he wants the county of Rome. That's a big fucking ask. So that greed definitely does not become you. Become of you. Come of you. Something like that. Okay, Abydos. Oh! Who is your heir? What happened? Okay, that's interesting. Well, I'll go ahead and just give it straight to him. Uh, yeah. Did I lose a vice royalty that I used to have? Hmm, I feel like I used to have three. Oh, well. In the past few months, you've been spending many nights reading the Bible. The texts contain many items of wisdom and also give hints to the most important mysteries of Jesus. So these sacred texts illuminate me. So I have ancient wisdom for a little while. That's nice. Uh, I have now been at the monastery for a few days, surrounded by others who share my passion for God. And yet I still find I miss having a friend. Rasophoros Cosma. Oh, that's a cool name. Oh no, wait, his name is Cosma, and he is a Rasafor, okay, Cosma, Cosma, and myself seem to be getting qu qu uh, along quite well, perhaps this could blossom to a fr true friendship. Yeah, I don't see why not, uh, I'm sure he would greatly enjoy discussing the Bible, let's see. <clears throat> So 
So what is my guy in Trebizond doing? Is he still fighting some wars? So he's doing a holy war for Mosul. Oh, so he's trying to get Osul. Okay, I was actually going to try to go after this guy too, but if the Trebizond guy is doing it, then I won't. I think that he's going to end up being the biggest beneficiary of the Abbasids falling. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Jesus. Uh, look at that. So he managed to pick up like all of this territory up here. And that's pretty crazy. Well, we will see. Um, it's possible that I would be able to pick up this, too. Um, I'm going to try and pick up these two territories. I just need to make sure that this is really it. So he has the Marsipanate of Kurdistan and the Marsipanate of Shahrazur. And he has an Arg and a mosque. So that's it. That's everything that he has. Does he have any vassals somewhere that I don't know about? No. Okay. Good. So I think we should be able to just scoop that up real quick, which would be nice. Oh, then maybe we can pick this up too. Uh, when my wife's mare had to be put down, I promised Pavlina that I would find a new suitable ride for her. Now I'm in luck. Not only one, but three different mares have been brought to Constantinople. The black one is magnificent and the only suitable match for my wife. Hmm. Well, um... My guy is cruel, but I don't know if he would be cruel to his wife, although my wife is fucking crazy, so... Uh, you know... Eh... Let's go halfway. I don't see any reason why he would go crazy, but... I mean, there's no re- I, I, I don't see any reason that he would really go all the way, but sure, why not the white mare? I don't really see a reason that he would not do it, and, except for the fact that he's cruel, but I don't know if I would be cruel to my own wife, you know? It's not really politically sound. How many men can I raise from here? And from here? Eight. Okay. Uh, who's this? Oh. Never mind. Okay. So, uh, let's go ahead and get these guys started. Let's get the Osmond, Osmond, Marikios, and Witiza. Oh, that's a cool name. So, Witiza. So, we get a Visigothic guy. He is the Stratagos of Mallorca. So he's coming to us from a long ways away, okay. I just want to get a better feel for the commanders I have. So he's one-eyed, brave, wroth, good fighter, Waldensian. Osmond, he's been around for a while. He's a bastard, he's gay, he's ambitious, he's brave. Looks like he is attacking... Oh, okay, so it looks like he's having some trouble with his vassals. I thought maybe he was trying to expand. Uh, and then finally we have Marikios, who is the head of that special um, mercenary company that we have in charge. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and send these guys off to Kurdistan. You know what, let me make sure. How many men can they field... 2,000, so that's like nothing. Okay, I think we should be able to roll over them pretty quick. Yeah. That one's... Yeah, okay, I think I think we'll be okay. Uh, Alright, so... Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, okay. So, let's do it. Holy... Ugh, fuck. My fucking council. Are you powerful? 4,000. What if I give you a gift? Would that change your mind, Mysticos? No. Alright, who is the weakest member of my council? Uh, I guess I can ask my Mysticos for a favor. It's just gonna put the shit off for a while. I keep forgetting that I have to go through with that. Okay, we're 
Request council support? Yes? Oh, who would have fucking thought? Okay, so... We're gonna go in, go out, go back in. Yay. Oh. Hold on. In that case, we can just... Uh... Okay, nice. So in that case, we'll just declare war then. So, holy war for Kurdistan. Okay. Nice. And we'll go ahead and raise another army to follow us in after them. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and raise the other armies as well, just in case something should happen. I'm hoping this war won't spiral, spiral out of control, but you never know. All right. I'm hoping to just the I'm hoping to just get in and get out. But, you know, sometimes these take a little bit of time. This kind of reminds me of when I was in Toulouse all those years ago with a different emperor. And I had to do this with, like, five different counties. <laughs> that was pretty intense. I remember I thought that wasn't going to work. But okay, I think we got this, though. Look at that. We're already at 28. Mm, a few more days. Okay, a few more days. A few more days, come on. The whole Arab world, or whole Muslim world is against us right now. I don't want to look at how many armies might be fighting us. How many people joined in? Oh my god, a lot of people. Well, I think we're already at white peace territory, so we're okay. But you know, it's definitely possible that even though like half, like the entire Muslim world has joined in on this war, most of them might not be... Oh, what happened? Oh, shit! Okay, so the Sulamids uh, managed to take over the, the Shias, so... Uh, between them and the Muhalabids, Mulha, we have pretty powerful vassals to deal with. Oof, they have stuff up here. Basically, these two together are like a new Abbasid. But I think in time will be set. Oh, wait, what? I didn't want to send you there. Okay. Wait, what's happening? Why are you going there? I didn't send you there. Ah, uh, fuck. I, I must have done that by accident. Okay. Stay there. Oh, is this already... Oh, 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 okay, never mind. It's already fully sieged. Um... Okay... Okay... And... Alright, look at that. He's already ready to surrender. We accept your surrender. Very good. Alright! Nice, so we managed to pick up a little bit of territory here, nothing too special. But I think that these guys will be next over here. Come on, okay. Yeah, so I'll bring those guys down. Ah, uh, well, I guess my guys are already dealing with that. So maybe we'll go for you. So the Dulafids, uh, they have a bit more going on than I thought they did. How about you? These Abbasids. We can get rid of the last of the landed Abbasids. Uh, okay, so let's get everyone back down. We don't need them. What's up with this? Uh, okay, so we could get Gilan, I suppose, from them. Yeah, he doesn't have that many men. Okay, you know what? Yeah, let's go pick up Gilan from the Abbasids. It's possible that... There aren't that many more Abbasids left. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 153. But, I mean, maybe there aren't that many landed Abbasids. Who's the head of the dynasty? Abu Bakr. Wasn't this the guy that ended them? Different Abu Bakr. Okay. Okay, so there are still a few Abbasids hanging around. Okay, well, let's send them up that away. 
I'm going to hand out these titles automatically. Yeah, so Kez and Sonda. Uh, okay, Curtis done. And I think I will just give that to my younger son outright. Uh, yeah, County of Kurdistan, Dushi of Kurdistan. Yeah, so I'm just going to give that to him outright. Uh, Thomas. Do Thomas. Nice 15th birthday present. Marash Marashich. The Ivkovich family, yeah. Who is the founder? Zhitomir. Yeah, that's right. Zhitomir, the first one that I really noticed. Uh, I remember I was keeping an eye on them, but it looks like he died a bit unexpectedly. 43. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so we'll head up to Gilan. Uh, oh, so I am bringing Lumsi to the local monastery today. There she meet, will meet some brothers and sisters doing penis. Uh, who will greet who ah so this already happened so there she meets brothers and sisters doing penance who uh, greet her politely as we leave the monastery my acquaintance says go with God to all those she met today I'm very proud of her and her attitude to the ways of sweet Saint Basil all right so maybe we can make a Christian out of this girl after all uh, I will put them in house arrest I think Oh, she does not like me. Oh, I guess I did mutilate her family. Mm, who did I mutilate? I'm not sure if I remember. Uh, okay. I guess I have enough money to build another castle somewhere. I suppose I should think about doing that. Maybe somewhere that my son controls. Oh, yeah, maybe over here. Yeah, oh, okay, maybe I could do that. It's always nice to have some new castles. Ah, Krakow's open for business. Ah, okay, we could pick up Krakow. That could be cool. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Yeah, you know, I guess I haven't really been getting involved over here. It looks like there's a lot of free real estate available. Ooh, interesting. Some Muslims here in Poland. Uh, okay. Uh, Alright. Well, you know what, guys? Actually, I will go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, and in the next episode, we will go ahead and see if we can grab Gilan. So, thanks, guys. That's it for me. And I'll see you next time.